Hello, everyone. I was asked a great question by a teacher the other day with regard to how a student creates a world in Minecraft and then moves that world or exports that world off of the iPad. So when the iPad goes to the next student, it can't be modified, changed, or deleted in any way. So I, I want to make this video to show you exactly how to do that. So first of all, I am going to make a new world by tapping on play. And the next thing I'm going to do is select create new then create new world and then create. Normally there I change some, uh, some settings, but I am just going to jump right into the world for the purpose of this video. All right, so there we have it. You can see here I'm in a Minecraft world. You can move around, etc. So the students would go ahead and build whatever it is that they need to build. And when they are finished, or the period's up, or the time that was given is over, up at the top in the middle, there's a pause button. So I'm going to tap on the pause button. And then I have an option to save and quit. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to save and quit. So it's saving my world. But right now, it's just saved on the iPad. And I want to move it off of the iPad. Um, so to the right of the name of the world, is a, there is a pencil icon. So I'm going to select that one. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, I have the option to export the world. So I'm going to do that. And you see here now that I have the option to export it to my Google Drive. So I'm going to tap on the copy to drive option. Now students may need to sign into their Google Drive account before they do this. I'm already signed in, so it went right into Google Drive. Perfect, now it's been uploaded. If I scroll down here, there it is right there. So on the left hand side, you're going to see three dots beside the name of the file. So I'm gonna tap on those three dots and I am going to say open in. And an option will come up to open in Minecraft Education Edition. So I'm going to select that one. It's going to jump back into Minecraft. Okay, and I'm going to tap play. And you will notice that I can pick up directly where I left off in the world with everything saved because it was exported to my Google Drive and then imported back into the iPad. Now, it sh should be noted that this can be done with any iPad. So students can create on one iPad, export it to Google Drive, and then grab another iPad, open their Google Drive on that new iPad, and open their uh, world in Minecraft Education Edition. So that's, that's how we do it when you have multiple students using uh, multiple iPad. Thanks for watching, and enjoy Minecraft Education Edition.